Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here. I hope you're doing great and I'm excited to be here today to share with you my guest shoe cabinet organization and tour. I did a video a few months ago where I shared with you that I have a shoe free home. We don't wear shoes in our home and I explained to you why along with giving you tips on how if you want a shoe free home, how to address that with family and friends and those kind of things because it can be a bit touchy and I'll link that video below in case you missed that video. But in that video, I explained to you that I have a cabinet for my guests to put their shoes in when they come to the home and how I accommodate their needs and things like that. And so I got several requests at that time to do a video on how I have the cabinet organized. But at the time I knew that I'd be getting a new cabinet because I wanted something with drawers so I was gonna switch it out. So I said, I'll just hold off on that video until I got my new cabinet. Well, I found a new used cabinet on Craigslist that I fell in love with because it coordinated with my China, China cabinet, which my cabinet is in my dining room. And so I painted it and got it all ready and got it all organized the way I like it. And so that's what I'm gonna bring to you today. And so I hope you can find it helpful. I hope that you'll enjoy it. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here is my new used shoe cabinet for my guest and it's actually in my dining room as I stated and so basically as you walk in my front door on the right hand side is my dining room the left hand side is my office and so this is my dining room area and so it's perfect because as they come in they can take off their shoes and put them right directly into the cabinet and I love this cabinet because it coordinates now with my china cabinet that's also in the room and when I first bought the shoe cabinet it was a brown color and so I painted it white to coordinate with the room and I love how everything now kind of comes together and works great and so it's the perfect size it's not overwhelming but it you know it just really fits nice in that space and I'm really happy with it and so what I want to do is share with you how I've organized the new shoe cabinet because now it has drawers on it and my last cabinet didn't have drawers which that's what I didn't like about it and so I love the fact that this one now has has the drawers on it which I wanted and I paid I think $75 off Craigslist for it so I thought it was very affordable because it's a nice sturdy piece and that's why I love buying used furniture and redoing it because you got a good piece. Now in the first drawer here, this is where I keep the socks for guests. So when they come over the house and they don't, they take off their shoes and they may not want to walk barefooted and they want a pair of socks, they can just grab a pair of socks here. I got them three for a dollar at the dollar store. I simply wrapped them with some 33 cent little black ribbon just to give a nice touch. You know, I like doing those little extra things for my guests and so it really came out nice. I also found the paper liner in the dollar store, which I was so, so very excited about for only one dollar because it actually, coordinates with my curtains in the dining room if you look in the background and see my curtains you can see that it's the same kind of um, toil uh, fabric uh, or design and so I was happy about that now in the next drawer here is where I keep the shoe covers and my shoe covers guys is simply just shower caps that I get from the dollar store you get a big pack of them for a dollar and it works great when you have people coming in to service your home like the cable guy or whatever because a lot of times it's hard for them to take their shoes off and on and I talked about this in the previous video and so I have these on hand for them along with the two empty spaces Spaces there or for keys when people come over they can just throw their keys in there and they don't have to hold on to them or worry about them and they're right by the door so when they leave out they can just pull their keys back and so the real this really works great and in my previous video that I linked below about why I have a shoe frame home I talk about that also why I have the covers and then I just have this cedar bag in here to keep um, the moisture out and keep the freshness in the drawer and I got these I think a pack of six was only three dollars from Marshall's but they smell so good they keep your cabinets fresh and odor free and you can actually make these just get the linen bags and put some cedar in there I would assume that would work and um, that's all it is right here but it smells so delicious and I just love having that in the drawer and having that to keep that area fresh especially since it's a shoe cabinet and then my organizational tool for that drawer are the, just the little bamboo organizers I get for I want to say $1.99 or $2.99 from Tuesday morning. My Tuesday morning always carries these, so they work great as far as fitting in the drawers, and you can get them different sizes to um, customize your drawer the way that you want it to. So it works really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, so as far as the bottom of the cabinet, we're still working on this because what my husband is going to do is he's going to raise that one shelf with the baskets on it and he's going to incorporate another shelf in there so that we have two rows of shelving to accommodate our guest shoes. Now, I love that because that we do need more uh, space for that. And then he built the rock 
kind of um, shoe storage in the bottom be for when it rains. People can put their wet shoes there and the rocks will capture the water, which is great. And Do It On A Dime actually showed her best friends um, when she did hers and I fell in love with it. And so I just really wanted to incorporate that in my home. Now the top baskets here are for, one is for the dirty socks. When they leave, they can throw the socks if they use them in there. And the other one just has a few foot supplies in case a guest come over and they're uncomfortable because they think their shoes stink. They can put some foot powder in there. I have some odor spray for shoes in there. Also, we live close to the beach and a lot of times when we come back from the beach, our feet have sand on them. So I have wipes so that you can wipe off your feet to get any kind of sand off so that you don't track it in the house. And so just those little uh, necessities to kind of help my guests along as they um, come visit my home. And then also I, the baskets are like $5.99 from a local home store that I got here. And then my husband custom built this rock kind of shoe storage here, which I love. He lined the bottom of it to protect the shelf. And he's also going to drill, drill some small holes in the back so that um, it has ventilation in there so I love how this turned out it really is going to function well I love it. it's going to function even better once we have the second row of shelves in there so people can just throw their wet shoes at the bottom or just dry shoes if we have more guests than that but it just I love having that incorporated in there and I don't have to sit it out and look at it so I'm really happy with how this shoe cabinet came together it took no time to do and I love it so I hope you have enjoyed seeing my new guest shoe cabinet. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think it's going to function so great for me. And so if you're interested, you can go to my blog at athomewithnikki.com and check out more pictures. I put some pictures on my blog today and subscribe while you're over there so that you can get the automatic updates whenever I post a new blog post. Also, you can catch me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm trying to get better about Instagram. I'm, you know, I'm old school, so I'm still kind of trying to get up on my game with Instagram, but bear with me. But you can check me out at those uh, avenues also. I hope you all are doing great and I'll see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.